What's up everyone, welcome to another vlog. So today, the day I'm starting filming this is a Saturday and we just got back from Disney uh, Thursday night and we are all so exhausted to the point where my daughter, who just turned three, she's really young, usually wakes up around like 8 a.m., sometimes earlier, sometimes a little later, slept, I'm not kidding you, until 11.30 this morning. Literally, we kept checking on like our monitor, the video, and we're like, certainly she's awake, no. And she would change positions, so we knew she was fine, but she needed to sleep, but she is raring to go today. So it's like mid-afternoon at this point. I need to go grocery shopping. We did a lot of projects this morning, like little organizational projects, like little drawers that have been driving me crazy. I told Tyler, my husband, the other day, I was like, listen, I finally got to the point, like yesterday, we were unpacking and I was just kind of feeling this anxiety bubble just rise. I was like, we have so many pockets of our house that were unorganized. And I was like, tomorrow, that is what I'm gonna attack. So that's kind of what I've been doing today. And he was building, we got a new patio set on our back porch, I'll show you in a bit, that looks so good. It was on sale for, I wanna say Memorial Day, but I think it's still on sale. We got it on, not Wayfair, but the other one, Overstock. And we love it, we love it. It's one of those that'll dry quickly. So I'll show you that in a bit, but but I need to go to the grocery store and get some stuff. So that is where I'm headed now. I did wanna let you know that a portion of this vlog is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. We'll talk about that later in the vlog. So we're in my old office right now. Quick uh, grocery store outfit of the day, just wearing some Lululemon leggings. These are actually not the Align ones that I always have. These are another kind. I'll have to write what it is down below because I can't think of it. But they're a little bit more compressive, but they're still comfortable. So I'm wearing those because I'm hoping, <laughs> we'll see. I'm hoping to convince myself to work out today. I don't know that it's gonna happen, but we'll see. And then just like a V-neck from Target. And then these bad boys are some white Nikes I got recently and I need to break them in. I wore different white tennis shoes on our trip, but these were just too new and I didn't feel comfortable or confident bringing them. So I'm gonna try to break these in while we're uh, grocery shopping today, but I love them. I think they're so cute. Uh, side note, I just tried this Califia Farms Nitro Latte with oat milk. I think I tried some version of this, but it is so freaking good. It's like a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. And I was telling Tyler, I'm like, this is what I wish like, when I would order iced coffee at a restaurant, this is what I wish it tasted like. It's really good. Windy. It's winding outside anytime the trees are blowing. She says it's winding. So this is the table we got. I love it. It was an investment piece for us. Honestly, it, it's funny. It was still expensive, but I looked at like Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel and places like that, and they were like six times the price. So. Okay, Gigi. But we just loved, we already had this outdoor rug and we just loved the way this looked all together with like the black. And one of the biggest things for us was we wanted it to be chairs that would dry quickly after it rains. Because I mean, it rains randomly, of course, in most places. And so for us, we were like, we wanna be able to sit in it on a day that like it rains in the morning, but like two hours later, we wanna pop outside cause it's nice, you know what I mean? So this is beautiful. We need to get a, uh, an umbrella to stick in there. We were thinking like, because we already have some color here, maybe doing like a beige colored one, like a tan. I feel like that would look really pretty. It was raining earlier today and really it was like storming all night. Wasn't it Tyler? Like I feel like every time I would like wake up. Yeah, oh yeah, all night. All night, but uh, we kept thinking that Genevieve would wake up and we don't think she did. However, because she did sleep in so late, like I was saying, I'm like maybe she had to have like been up but she wasn't crying or anything, so anyway. So I need to finish that espresso drink I was drinking and then I'm gonna head to the store. There's bubbles coming out, girl. Whoa. She's playing with the bubble toy she got in Disney. Uh, so what are you doing, Tyler? Well, I'm gonna try and organize this. I've been meaning to do it forever. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but we have this. They're it, making it wind. It <laughs> Sorry, always, Tyler, I can't focus on you. <laughs> it's always got like this much space on top because we have cushions that go on here, but like if it's gonna rain, we always take Oh, them you're off. talking about this? And so yeah. well, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna put in here versus what's in there. Um, we got this on Amazon, right? Yeah. It's yeah. like, you know, just like a Rubbermaid or Sterilite type yeah. container, but you, we can lock it, which is kind of nice. Yeah. But we want her toys to be like accessible. We have them in there right now and they're so far down that she can't quite reach them. Yeah, and there's too many cushions and stuff in there anyway. So we're yeah. gonna, yeah, you know, we gotta kind of figure this out here. Yeah, we'll get it figured out. But this will be nice to have kind of organized and ready to go. What are you doing? You know I'm gonna tell you to stop rolling in something stinky. This is Pinocchio. Uh, Pinocchio, don't, don't make us have to give you a bath today, please. You don't like it, we don't like it. 
it's no fun for anyone. So I honestly totally forgot to vlog in the store. I'd actually planned on it, but some things that we got that I'm gonna mention, I'm not doing like a full on haul right now, but we make this snack with basil and like the beans inside of the edamame and then like dried cranberries and feta cheese and you put a little olive oil, salt and pepper with all of that. And it is so good, it lasts a couple days in the fridge and it is like the most delicious filling snack and it's so weird. And quite frankly, none of those ingredients separately are things that I like super love, but all together it's really good. So if we make that sometime soon, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But I also picked up some sweet corn, one of my favorite things to grill out. And then instead of like eating it on the cob, because I'm just weird about it, I like to use a little thing to get the corn off of the cob and eat it that way with butter and salt. And it is so delicious. I also picked up a favorite Dove dark chocolate and almond. These we, I buy like once a month and I fill a little candy dish. And over the course of that month, we end up eating it, which is A-OK -okay by me. This is like the most delicious chocolate ever. Also a quick lunch idea, these little grilled chicken things they have like in the deli section. Honestly, usually at least at my store, it's near like the prepackaged like deli meat, you know, and bologna and stuff like that. This is so good if you just warm it in the microwave and then put it on a wrap and you can put whatever condiments or dressings on it and you can put some greens on there. It's so delicious. So this I like to have on hand and I'm mad at myself because I picked up pure vanilla extract because it was still on our list, but Tyler had already bought it. I don't remember what we were using it for. So now we have like two kind of large sized vanilla extract things. I'm like, well, I was looking at the date. It lasts for a couple years, so we should be good. Well, it's the next day and I went on a run this morning. Just, well, I just got back, which is why my face is so flushed. But uh, I like, I thought it was like warm out. I didn't really look at the temperature. I don't even know what temperature it is out. I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I knew it was like warm, but I'm like, well, it's still morning. So it's like early enough. It's pro I'll probably beat the heat. So I went on on a run. <laughs> that was the hottest, hardest run I've ever done, ever, I think. I literally walked so much of that, which is fine. And I'm a big proponent of like running and walking just whenever, like run as far as you can, walk when you need. That's basically the way I do it anyway. Long story short, I should have checked the weather because, or even like stepped outside before I got started because I have never, like that was truly the hottest run. So I just like down to Gatorade and did some stretching, but I need to get a shower. And then today is Father's Day and I asked Tyler what he wanted for Father's Day. And he said he wants a day to be able to get done all of these different projects around the house, similar to what we did yesterday, but like there's a lot of outdoor stuff he wanted to get done and he uh, said he just feels like he never has the time. So I'm like, if that, is that really what you want for Father's Day? He was like, yeah, I'm like, okay. So me and Gigi are gonna play today and we're gonna try to get some of our own projects done. But he just wanted, I think, uninterrupted time. So I'm also gonna make him a special dinner tonight. It's this Ina Garden recipe. It's like this uh, stew, it's like a stew, but it has a whole bunch of spices in it. And it typically calls for, I think, lamb. We make it with chicken. Um, and it's really, really yummy, but it is a little complicated, so we don't make it a lot. So I'm gonna make that tonight for him. It's like a special dinner, but yeah. So I might not vlog a crazy amount today just cause I wanna be able to enjoy the evening with him. It happens to also be our anniversary. So we're celebrating like 18 things this month. June is the craziest month, the craziest month. I feel like we have uh, two, actually three birthdays if you count Pinocchio. Everyone in this house is born in June, except for me, I was born in January. Since we were just in Disney, we were like, we don't really feel like going out to dinner, doing anything like that. We really both just wanted to be at home. We've missed being at home. So I know I want to tackle <laughs> my closet. I need to like straight up Marie Kondo it. And I know I'm gonna mention that. And so many of you guys are gonna go straight to the comments and say, please film it. Um, I'll show a little bits of it today, but it's really hard to, be in a really, really solid decluttering mindset and organizing mindset and film it. I've learned that about myself over the years. I've done a lot of like organizing decluttering videos and especially with big projects like a closet overhaul, it's really hard to like film and vlog that. So I will probably share bits of it, but I'm not gonna film the whole thing. Anyway. Oof, different day. Um, so I'm at our workspace editing a video and I need your guys' opinion on something. So one thing I'm struggling with, with having this separate space, and I knew this is something that would take me months and months to kind of figure out and get in the groove. I'm trying to figure out what the best course of action is with my makeup. So I did a video kind of sharing what I was gonna try. And I have learned in the past month that it is too overwhelming to have a makeup bag that travels with me back and forth that's like super full of a bunch of new stuff. So 
then I kind of had this somewhat of a, a semi epiphany uh, where I was like, maybe if I keep a lot of my makeup at home, because the reality is I only get ready here if I'm filming it. So when I can help it, I'm getting ready at my own house. And so I was keeping makeup there to get ready with, but right now my entire collection's here. So I guess what I'm grappling with is, does it make more sense for me to have most of my makeup collection here? That way, if I wanna talk about it in a video or something, I can just go back and grab it. Or does it make more sense to have a lot of it at home since I'm doing my makeup more often there? See, even still, like sometimes I film like an Instagram reel and I need it here. If you're enjoying having a separate place to go, like that side of things, 10 out of 10. Having like my editing stuff separate and my filming stuff here, 10 out of 10. Opening up space in our home for hopeful, hopefully future children, 10 out of 10. But it's just this struggle of like the actuality of my day to day with specifically makeup. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm sure I'll try different versions and I'll figure it out, but I don't love having to bring back a ton of makeup back and forth. So I think like having a makeup bag, like a normal size makeup bag and putting just the like 20 new things I'm trying out, bringing that back and forth is fine. I'm finding that because I'm overwhelmed by it, I just end up using the same makeup I use every day, which is fine. But considering I need to be trying makeup for what I do, I'm like, <laughs> so anyway, I don't know. Give me some thoughts, y'all. One of you guys is gonna have a genius idea. I just know it. So I wasn't even gonna bring this up because I'm like, Jessica, you can figure it out on your own. But I'm like, no, one of you guys might really have a good idea. So let me know your thoughts. But like I said, I really am enjoying having this space, but I was kind of telling Tyler the other day we were going for a walk and I was like, I just think it's, I'm still in that adjustment period of figuring out how, what does this look like for me having an actual place to go to work? So I'll figure it out, but these are good problems to have. These are awesome problems to have. So right now we are, I'm actually nearing the end of our work day here and we're going to leave to go pick Genevieve up. And I was hoping to work out today. That's not going to happen because I have an hour left and I still have half of this video to edit. <laughs> so we'll see. I also have like a lot of emails to answer that I, I need to like, there are a few I like have to respond to today. So yeah, I also need to order some, uh, the cinnamon tea that I talk about all the time, but it's, I literally drink it every day. It's my favorite. We are almost out of both the regular and the decaf. I ordered it on Amazon last time and it took a while to get here, which for Amazon is kind of, you know, it's, it's hit or miss, but for the most part, if it's prime, you get it. But I don't even think they had this prime because I was buying like a big bag of the little tea sachets instead of the actual tin because we have a tin for the decaf and the regular. So now I just want to refill those tins. So I need to order that before we like actually run out. I have my, my tripod sitting up on my, standing desk and I have it at like a medium level. So my computer right now is really high, but I wanted the tripod to be like at it. <laughs> I'm over explaining as usual. Also, is anyone going through a phase of their life right now where like a lot of your friends are pregnant? I feel, I feel like every day that goes by, another person I know is announcing they're pregnant and I'm like, oh my gosh, like 30 people I know are pregnant right now. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what everyone was doing at home with nothing to do during the, the height of the pandemic here. I realized I really didn't vlog a ton yesterday, but it was so nice to just like relax. We ended up watching In the Heights and making a frozen pizza. I talked a big game about making that stew, but by the time it was like 7.30 p.m. and I just like given Gigi a bath and laid her down because she didn't nap. And anyway, all of that to say, it was like super late and I was like, Tyler, that stew's not happening tonight. He's like, I kind of figured, let's just do frozen pizza. And we were like, we both love frozen. DiGiorno's pizza, are you kidding me? But we tried, we love the like stuffed crust cheese, frozen pizza from DiGiorno's. But I tried something new and I bought their croissant crust pizza. Pretty good, but nothing beats the stuffed crust cheese. Cause by the time I get to the crust, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what I'm really in this for. The stuffed crust cheese pizza. Anyway. That's all. So we had an awesome night in the Heights. Wow. I just, I love that musical already. It's Lin-Manuel Miranda who wrote Hamilton. It's a musical he wrote before Hamilton. It's so good y'all. It is so good. It's, I knew it would be good, but it was better than I thought, which is always just so exciting. Tyler loved it. I loved it. We cried the whole time. It was awesome. So we had a great little like anniversary celebration. So thanks for asking. <laughs> Not that you asked, but. So what's up? Different day. I just realized I never showed you guys the closet, like what I did when I reorganized and decluttered a bit the other day. So I'll insert those clips right now. Alrighty. So here in my closet, it's a little worse for wear already because you know, life. But 
I finally, I used to have like, I wish I'd taken before shots, guys. I'm like the worst YouTuber ever, I know. But I used to have shoes down here and I had like so many shoes in here that everything, like I couldn't lay it out like this. So I went through those, got rid of a bunch and this is what I'm left with. And then I did keep like boots and stuff down there because it's not winter time when I'm filming this. So I don't really need them and I can just swap those out. So in the winter, these sandals and stuff can go down there. But I also got out my label maker and just made labels for these baskets. My biggest issue was I had things in these baskets that I don't reach for often, but I didn't, you know, I wanted to keep, but I couldn't remember which was where. Like I have Christmas specific things in this one right here. I literally, when Christmas time would roll around, I'd have to get my ladder and like pull every single thing down to figure out which one had Christmas. So this is just such a quick fix that makes my life easier. I have extra purses and wallets up there. And I have like tennis shoes and other shoes like boots up there out of the way as well. I don't have anything in these baskets here because they're hard to get to. You have to like move these lights to get to them. So we just leave them empty. But I also labeled these. So I have my shorts and then denim and then leggings and pants in these. That's basically all of the bottoms I own, which is awesome. They're all together. The only thing I really didn't get done the other day was going through my actual clothing. We just literally ran out of time that day. So I'll go through this stuff eventually. And I'd like to put some of it underneath my bed in like a little container I just bought on Amazon. We'll see. Perhaps that will be in my next vlog. But yeah, I feel really good about at least knowing where everything is. Another issue I finally solved was that I had a bunch of just like cotton tees that I wear all of the time, but I would have them hanging on a hanger and it would take up, you know, valuable real estate that I needed here. So I finally took them off their hangers and folded them. And so now I know where to go to find them, but they're taking up way less room by doing it this way. And you guys, I literally, let me just show you how much I got rid of. We are getting rid of two bags of stuff from that closet. And then this is all stuff for the winter that I'm gonna put in the under the bed storage thing. All of this was taking up space in my closet. And it's just, I just feel so much better about how I'm utilizing that space. So back to present time. So I just got to the workspace. Tyler's actually on his way. He had to stop at Ikea, He's returning some picture frames and just doing that kind of stuff. And we might've found a piece of furniture we want for our workspace here in like our main area. So we'll see anyway, but I am here and I actually this morning got my, the ambient noise might be a little too loud here why I don't film out here. But anyway, uh, I got my nails done today and I went with more of like a square shape, which I'm really vibing on right now. And they're a little bit shorter. So, and I got like a neon-y color, just feels very uh, summery. So I got to get some work done today. I'm working on a thumbnail picture and links first thing for the video that's going live today. And then I'm going to film a video and I might get to editing some of it. It's going to be kind of busy day and we're getting a little bit later of a start than we typically do. I try to remind myself when I have a day that's not like my typical day, like time frame wise, to like just take a breath and these are good days because they break up the monotony of those other normal days if you will so i have less work time today but that's okay um but also though on that note there's a coffee shop nearby that i really would like to get some coffee from today so i have a feeling when i mention that to tyler who will be on board too <laughs> so i get a lot of you guys asking about like a tour of the space i'm not gonna give like a full tour right now i have shared a lot about my filming room i can link the vlog where i share a lot of that below if you wanna see like details of it. But to show you kind of this like main area, this is kind of where we like eat lunch each day. So it's kind of nice. It always feels like a little bit of a date and we get to talk and I absolutely cherish our lunch times together. But anyway, so this couch, I know it's kind of dark in here, but this couch is actually a pull out couch from Ikea. The pillows are from uh, Amazon, including the cases, you know, and it's really pretty. They're really soft. The pillows inside are kind of, crummy like they're real flimsy but i mean honestly we kind of just have those pillows for looks anyway so it doesn't really matter but this table and this like tv stand both are from wayfair and the table this portion of it lifts up so if we wanted to sit and eat at it we can we are a big fan of lift up coffee tables um, and then this rug is maybe my favorite part of this room and it's from Ikea. And then over here, we <laughs> I need to get like a basket for a blanket or two. For now, it's just stuffed under there, but 
These two are things we actually already had. This was in my old filming room from Ikea, the tables from Ikea, this lamp we recently got from Ikea as well. <laughs> Pinocchio's little bed. This is actually where the new piece of furniture, if he gets it, that's where it's gonna go. So we will see, but I think that mirror on top will look really nice. This lamp is from Target. And then this table is actually an extendable table and it's from Ikea. And the chairs we bought from Wayfair. So really this entire room is pretty much Wayfair and Ikea. And that's pretty much it. But I just love the way it came together. It looks so nice. I'm sure some of you guys are like, you know, why did you even bother furnishing this room like it's a home? You know what I mean? Because we really didn't need to. That was something we grappled with. But one thing we thought about was we'd like to be able to use this room for filming as well. I'm not the only one that films here. Tyler is planning on filming here as well, like in his office. But we'd also like, you know, if we were doing videos together, it'd be nice to have an area we could also film in. Very cute. So I got a flat white, which is one of my favorites. It's not sweet at all, but it's just like a super milky kind of coffee, you know? Uh, but cute little art on there. I was surprised with walking with this with the lid on that the art like actually stayed, but very cute. Now it is time to film now that I've got the caffeine. What's yours? I don't know. I think it's an onion. It's like a lotus. <laughs> I think it's like a lotus flower. Is that what it is? I don't no, know. I can't you got a matcha. It's abstract. <laughs> I thought you were saying it's absinthe, which is funny because it's green. It smells really good. It's, good. it's matcha with like uh, ginger and stuff. Yum. Yeah. Yum. So we are all playing outside right now. I'm going to try this kind of kombucha. I've never tried this brand. I don't drink it all of the time, but a couple times a week when I'm just feeling like it, I'll drink one. Tyler likes them too, but yeah, let me try it. Alrighty, let's give it a try. It's mango passion fruit. It does have a different taste. Like I tend to like... Tyler, what's that brand? It's like Trill or G GT's kombucha. And the Synergy is like the their classic or Trilogy, Trilogy. I like that one. It's like, I don't know. It was like one of the first kombuchas I ever tried and I just liked the flavor of it. This tastes like it has a little less flavor. So if you feel like that one's too like, pungent's not the right word, but uh, you might like this one then. But I, I don't mind it. I like the taste. I just think I like the other one better. You know what I mean? But 15 points to Gryffindor for the packaging because this is really pretty. All right, what's up? Different day. I actually went live on my Instagram today and it was so much fun. Like I've done it before, but I don't do it very often. And it's funny, a lot of you guys in the like chat of the live were like, do you do this all the time? And I just always miss it. I'm like, no, but I like really should. I'd love to do it a couple times a month. So we'll see if that ends up happening. But yeah, it was just kind of one of those things that like at the end of my work day, I had like 20 extra minutes and I was like, I could do a live right now and just to chat with you guys and it feels so much more like real to talk with you guys in that way because it's in real time you know what i mean so i i just loved it and it made my heart flutter so anyway just wanted to mention that because it was so much fun and it was a big like happy part of my day today but it is dinner time and as i mentioned this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by hello fresh so if you've never heard of hello fresh it is my favorite meal delivery service. We have tried a couple of them. This is our favorite. We've now been using it for years, <laughs> like truly years. I don't even want to do the math because that just reminds me of how fast time is going and that scares me. <laughs> kind of looking at these, I think the one I want to make tonight is the chicken penne limone. I'm, a, I'm hoping I said that right. But we really love HelloFresh because you always get these like full color recipe cards that you can save if you wanna use them in the future, but they lay everything out step by step, so easy to follow. And we just love that there are so many different recipes to choose from each week that we never feel like we're eating the same thing all the time. We get to break out of our comfort zone, we get to try old favorites as well. And of course it cuts out all of the meal planning, the meal prepping, the grocery shopping that you would typically do when you're planning your dinners for the week. And most of the recipes are done in 30 minutes and they also have quick and easy recipe options that are usually right around 20 minutes and their pre-portioned ingredients that they send means there's less prep for you but also less waste you can add in extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order you can throw in extra proteins or some of their meal complements like their best-selling garlic bread which is absolutely delicious and i also love the HelloFresh donates food they've donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and they're continuing to ramp up their donations right now which i think is really important so if you want to check it out for yourself, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code JBRON14 to get 14 free meals 
including free shipping. That's a really great deal and it's a really good time to try. So I will have the link and all of the info you need down in the description box. This is a recipe we've never tried and it was one of their quick and easy ones. It took me like 20 minutes. So I'm so excited to give this a try. All right, the moment of truth. I have to admit, <laughs> I have totally already eaten some of this because while I was like, once it was done and I was about to add the toppings, I was like, I have to try this because the cream sauce that you put in this is so, so good. Cause of course I got some on my finger and I was like, well, <laughs> and this is so good. And the thing I think I like about this the most is there's some lemon in it, but it's not overwhelming. Like it's the right amount of lemon that you're like, ooh, but it's still so like creamy and stuff that it, they just pair so well together. And I feel like I never think to put like zucchini and stuff. And lately I've been using a lot more of it. So I feel like the zucchini with this is a really nice pairing too. So we finished dinner, had a little bit of dessert. We just ate some of these uh, chocolate covered almonds that I love, the skinny dipped ones. This is the dark chocolate cocoa, which I like but the dark chocolate peanut butter ones are. So anyway, uh, then we started this series called This Is Pop, and the first episode, it's like a documentary all about pop music. First episode was dedicated to Boys to Men, and we both obviously knew who they were, but I like knew a lot of their songs. I loved Boys to Men, and Tyler only recognized like one or two of the songs, but of course he'd like heard of them. And I was like, why do I know them so much better than you? I'm a couple years older than him, but like not enough and like looking at the timeline. But once we kind of did the math, I realized my oldest two sisters were at the perfect age and I'm pretty sure it was them that were always like listening to them in our household when I was growing up. Cause Which it's the only thing- My oldest brother would have been like less than 10. 10. Yeah. So, so there's a chance, and you even said you're pretty sure he, you I saw that he had a CD, but- I don't remember him listening to it all that often. Yeah. Well, and also, I think the ladies tend to like Boys to Men even more. Boy, their love songs, wow. One Sweet Day, amazing. Obviously, all of the good ones, like End of the Road and I'll Make Love to You and all those are amazing. I can't hear Boys to Men without thinking of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> oh yeah, if you've, seen the, <laughs> if you've seen the episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where they all try to, <laughs> Like win a boys to men contest or something, right? Yeah, I think that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, we can't listen to Motown Philly without thinking of that, which is just funny. But anyway, I also heard it's a full moon tonight, so I might pop outside and go see if we can see it. But we're gonna sign off here. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And yeah, I guess that's it. I would keep talking and vlogging, but this video is getting pretty darn long as it is, so I should probably sign off. But love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.